So, as you can see, I'm an armchair fan for the day. My pursuit for a ticket for Watford away has failed. Although I did get offered a last minute ticket, but the guy wanted to swap it for a home game against Man United um, at the Emirates in December, so I declined. Um, that was the only one I've been offered, I've tried everywhere, but unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to sit on my sofa today and deal with it. Anyway, the teams have been announced. Koscielny passed his fitness test, he's, he's straight into the team. Aaron Ramsey and Alexi Sanchez are not in the squad. Now, I can kind of understand Sanchez not being in the squad because he didn't get back until yesterday, quite late apparently. So, fair dues. But Aaron Ramsey, I'm shocked he's not in the squad. Um, although he played shit for Wales the other night, he's actually done really well this season. One of our better players. Jesus, I can't believe I just said that. Anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm expecting, um, I'm expecting a good game. We've got pace and power up front. We've got Welbeck and Awobi just behind Lacazette. Um, and with El Nenny next to Xhaka, we've got somebody who's going to do the defensive side of the job. And he's going to nick the ball and just be passing it straight to better players. So, after predicting a 2-1 win in my preview, I think I've changed my mind seeing that 11. I'm now going with a 3-1 Arsenal win. We're fucking shit. We're fucking shit. We're fucking shit. We're fucking shit. I am bored, man. There's a myth going around that Arsenal play attractive football. Well, can someone tell Wenger? Because that was shit. That first half was so boring and dead. It is unreal. And we got lucky with a goal. Yeah, fair enough, we've got a corner, but come on, man. Seriously, Murtasaka being marked by Tom Cleverley. If that was a centre-back marking Murtasaka, we wouldn't be 1-0 up. It'd be 0-0. Yeah, we've done nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only player who... Two players, I'd say, that have done anything of any note in that first half. Uh, Alex Iwobi, I think he's looked all right. Nothing spectacular. And Hector Bellerin. Other than that... Dead performances left, right and centre. Bored out my fucking box. And let's be honest, Watford ain't even trying to score. They're just happy to sit back and keep it as low as possible. So, you know, I look at it and I think that, you know, we, we've got a chance here to, to gain on the leaders. And we're just sitting there going sideways and backwards, sideways and backwards, sideways and backwards. Fucking wake up. The last time we played good football was 2008. Anyway, fuck all that shit. I'm going to get another beer. I might need to sink a little bit stronger later on. And uh, I'll see you at full time. So, full time at Vicarage Road. Watford 2, Arsenal 1. Well done, Arson. Well done, Mesut fucking Ozil. Cunt. I fucking hate that cunt. Seriously, the geezer is a fucking liability. It's no coincidence that as soon as we bring Mesut Ozil on, number one, he bottles a big chance. And if you go and watch that, I've posted that on my Twitter. You can go and see the video I've posted on my Twitter. From the minute he bottles the chance to the seconds that go down between that to the penalty that was given against Bellerin. Go and check my Twitter out, at LeeGunner82. Right? Mesut Ozil. You clean through, we were pinned in a little bit, Kalasinac, nice ball down the wing, Iwobi's away. Mesut Ozil's wide open, he's on his left foot. This geezer costs 42 million quid, and I keep getting told he's fucking fantastic. Best number 10 in the world. Really? The geezer's shit. I've said it for fucking years. He is shit. You're one-on-one -on -one with Jorelio Gomez. You're 18 yards out, you're on your best foot. The world class, class wand of a fucking left foot, I keep getting told. Yeah? Straight the keeper. Go and watch the video I posted. From the minute or the second he misses that chance, the guy who runs out of defence with the ball, I can't remember his name, he tracks him, but he's jogging. He's not busting his ass to go and close him down. He's jogging. He then lets the guy run off of him and has no clue where the guy is. 
The guy then ends up being in front of Murtasaka, okay? So now Ozil is behind Bellerin. He then points and goes, yeah, yeah, in the space, in the space to Bellerin. Well, hang on, bruv. Why didn't you, as a world-class, apparently, world-class fucking footballer, instead of telling Bellerin to go into the space where the guy is going to push the ball, why didn't you go and cover the fucking space? That, <coughs> excuse me. That way, Bellerin wouldn't have had to have been put in a situation where he's one-on-one -on -one with a tricky customer, yeah, and gives the referee a decision to make. Instead, it would have happened that if Ozil had gone into that space, we would have closed the guy out, he might not have gone down. We might have cleared the ball. Yeah, it's no coincidence that Mesut Ozil comes on the fucking pitch and we look shit. And add into that the fact that Arsene Wenger's substitutions were fucking deluded. Yeah, I'm fucking done with Ozil. Nobody, not one person can come in my comment section and tell me this geezer is any fucking good. He is shit. He is a pussy. He's a lightweight. He does absolutely nothing. Well done, Mesut Ozil. Thanks for throwing the fucking match. You could have ended the game. Instead, you didn't end the game. You then didn't track back properly. You're just trotting around, mincing about like Jose said you fucking did. Jose Mourinho was spot on about you, mate, yeah? You're a lightweight, yeah? You're a luxury player. You do fuck all off the ball, yeah? And see all you, are, you, all you Ozil deluded fucks that blinded by fucking stats? The geezer's shit. End of story. Now, that's, that's all I've got to fucking say on the matter. I don't even want to go any fucking further. That's the end of story. Subscribe, like, share. Fucking laters.